hello and welcome to the channel great to have you here thanks for dropping by it's that time of year again it's march and it's 2024 and so it is time for the aliexpress anniversary sale massive sale they have every year i bought a load of watches last year um, and i'll be doing the same this year so i thought i'd throw up a video there's some usual suspects in these videos uh, some names that you've seen before a couple of watches i've reviewed as well so you can go and watch the reviews on them see what you think now this sale runs from the 18th so it's just about to start now the beauty with ali sales is you can see what price you're going to pay in the sale drop them into your basket then come back when the sale starts and get them at the lower price everything on this video is under 100 pounds or 100 dollars uh, i'll put links to everything in the description now this runs from the 18th of march so it's just about to start when i'm shooting this video and finishes on the 27th so plenty of time to get your watches in and ordered um hopefully everybody gets paid in between that time frame and we can all get our watches that we want at a much lower price so let's take a look so i thought we'd start off with a, a regular name on the channel pagani design this watch really nice looking watch this is uh, unusual dial with a checker plate on it um now they do this in this silver color let me just see if i can get these this blue We'll come back onto the blue in a second and a black version very eye-catching the blue actually looks better if you watch the video it actually looks uh, a nicer blue than it does in the images on the images it looks like a bit of a, a sort of greeny blue color but it actually looks better if you watch the video and you sort of see in real life i think the blue is a bit nicer than it it comes across on there so 49.92 a small saving down to 45 pounds but you know what you're going to get with pagani it's a 40 mil in diameter 12 mil case thickness silicon strap i suffer with silicon straps sometimes sometimes just learned with a watch i've just done an unboxing for um synthetic glass but i didn't think it was particularly bad it's a good looking watch nice design very sort of business i suppose it looked nice probably swapped out onto a, a leather strap only a small saving only 10 percent really but definitely worth look checking out it's the pd1780 next up a brand i think i've mentioned before but i've not actually got one in yet if you have let me know in the comments below feel never i'm not sure about the uh, about the name i think they're part of liege watches if my memory serves me correct and this is a really nice one so allegedly this has got 500 meters worth of water resistance it's an automatic they've got it in this nice black kind of standard sort of finish a very tiny brown one I'm not quite sure why that image is a bit uh, all over the place and then this blue with the silver rotating bezel which is again really nice uh, if anybody's added one of these let me know what you think oh there we go there's all three colors that brown's a bit different you don't see many brown dialed watches so i thought that was a little bit different we've got sapphire glass with ar coating it's a 47 and a half mil so this is a big watch so if you've got a smaller wrist you're probably going to think mm, maybe not not for me 24 mil solid stainless steel bracelet it mentions a Jap japanese automatic three hands with date i don't know if it says actually somewhere is it in the specs so a quick peek see if it says whatever it is oh this is the fn1802 there we go yeah, it's still saying 50 bar there. 24 mil band, sapphire crystal. It just says automatic self wind. Now, really, one of the reasons I like this, I really want to see what color this case is in real life. It looks a little more gray than than some of the others. Look, this sort of matte finish. I was watching Watch Crunch this week, and they covered a gray sort of anodized watch, and it was really nice, good looking watch. And I do wonder if that's on a similar. It was a darker gray that was, but looks great loom on the uh, bezel as well which is really nice nice touch yeah some really looks really good that does down from 68 so you're getting a bit more off this down to 60 uh let me know if you've got one or getting one and what you think of it now we're back to Bagani. now the only reason i'm mentioning this one is because i actually have this watch i ordered it a little while ago and i paid the higher price so this is a genuine saving i can show you an invoice to show you what i paid for it and it's far closer to that 48.50 than it is down to the 37 48 so what's that 40 dollars something like that now the one i've got and i've done an unboxing it's all lined up ready to drop out which i'll try and do this week they've got this black version on the steel band uh a green which is a nice and nice green that 
it's always difficult with green to judge that i think when uh, on a screen and then the blue which is the one that i've got so i've got an unboxing so make sure you subscribe to the channel for that but i think this is great you've got a sapphire glass the vk64 really nice bracelet i must admit the etching on the dial is really good i always worry about that i've mentioned this before that i'm always wary of how well that is finished obviously it's a homage to the speedmaster 57 it's a good looking watch um i'm actually gonna be wearing this watch tomorrow that's what i'll be wearing i'm out on business and i'll be wearing that watch it's the blue one so i thought i'd throw that in anyway because this is a real genuine saving because as i say it's the pd1766 and i'll drop that unboxing out so you can watch that this week next up is this bernie now i've actually reviewed this on the channel i'll put a link in the corner and i was really pleased with this watch it's a really good looking watch for something so simple it's based off the uh, swiss railroad clock if you're familiar with that um i know i was really pleased with it now i took the am 7068m which is this one without the indices on without the indices sorry without the arabics on um and i was really pleased with it very nice watch sapphire glass 50 meters water resistance stainless steel uh, it's a seagull st 1612 automatic self-winding movement in there i'm not sure about the loom and a second hand um, yeah, it's hardly a feature really. Now it's not a massive discount on this, down from 43 to 38. So what's that, $40? But the reason I mentioned this one is I reviewed it and then they came out with this one, which is the AM138M, which is the fully loomed dial version. And this was really good. I was really pleased with this. The uh, Milanese band it comes on was superb. The, the loom on it is fantastic. Now this one actually comes with the Myota uh, 8215 movement as well exhibition case back i was really pleased with them again i'll put links up in the corner to those but at this price definitely worth grabbing i paid the higher price actually slightly more than that when they first came out i thought i'd drop in something i've not looked at before a mark fairwell can't say i know the brand particularly but a really good looking watch definite sort of 70s retro styling on it as you can see obviously it's a quartz at this price you're not getting a massive drop on this one probably 10 percent something like that but i just thought it was a good looking watch actually for for a great price at uh, 23 pounds what's that 25 dollars they've got the uh, panda version just here and sort of the reverse panda i suppose that's silver rather than white um and then a blue the fm5 at 900 i'm sure the loom doesn't look like that when you actually come around to doing it but i just thought it was a really good looking watch uh what, what size was this one i can't remember what the uh, specs were on this let's have a look uh 22 mil band oh, 43 mil so quite a decent size watch as i say only really a, a sort of throw it in there i can't say i know the brand particularly if anybody's had one let me know in the comments below and let me know what you thought next up is a courgeo i think i'm saying that right anyway i've just a brand i've not had in before um but i saw this and i really like this this is a really nice uh, good looking watch they've got several choices on here and two slightly different styles so we're going from 56 pounds down to 51 again a reasonable saving on that really nice sapphire glass was it 41 mil yeah 41 case diameter 11 mil thickness only 50 meters of water resistance 20 mil strap um this is the NH35 version in here that I'm showing. Now, uh, the reason I went with this, they've got a couple of different sort of styles, really. They've got, obviously, this style, very much sort of Aquaterra style. Then uh, this one, which is going to what I'm going to use on the thumbnail. Nice-looking watch there. Like the look at the strap on that. Got a blue version of that as well. Then white dialed with the uh, cream indices. Really nice, that nice contrast on that one again slightly different style of hands on this and then we come on to the last one which is the one i really like which is this one um with the black and yellow striped seconds hand i think that's really nice hope the straps long enough on these um as i say if anybody's had one of these leave a comment um let me know what you thought of them only 50 meters water resistant but nh35 you know that's movement's really good a slight discount on this again about 10 percent, i suppose from the courgeo direct store um let me know what you think of that particular brand it's not one i've had in next up hemidal i think i'm saying that right but i'm, I'm probably murdering it 81 
down to 74. I've looked at these watches several times. And every time I look at them, I think that's a really nice looking watch. It's a big watch. Uh, I think it comes in at 47.7 mil. So it's a, you know, going to need a decent sized wrist, but that'd be great for me. Maybe not for somebody with a slender wrist. This might be a little bit chunky. I really like some of the colors that they do. This snowflake blue is lovely. I just think that's really nice looking dial. And then you're going to contrast that with this really deep red. Again, very eye catching. Black with a slightly blue. I see this one's a slightly different. It's got two buttons just on, on there, which the others don't seem to have. I'm not quite sure what the difference is between that. If you know, let me uh, drop a comment uh, below and I will have a look. I will put links to all these watches in the uh, in the description. They've all got day date. Really nice uh, what we got. Let's have a quick peek at the specs. Oh, 20 mil band. Yeah, 47 mil. Oh, it says dial diameter. Oh, dial diameter rather than the damage of the watch, I suppose. Uh, yeah, they're saying it's a uh, 47.7. It's the SK01, the Deep Sea Monster. You can see where it gets its styling from, but that's really nice. Hopefully some good loom on it. I'd be pleased if it was that bright. Um, but yeah, really good looking watch. A brand that a lot of people talk about, but I haven't had one in yet, so I think that one might be one to purchase for myself. And last, but by no means least, the Sergis official store. Uh, the reason I went for this was just the sheer range of colours that they've they've got in this, but we'll, we'll come back to the colours in just a set. Let's have, take a look at the just the specs on this. Here we go. So it's uh, the Sergis, uh, it's got the Seagull ST1901 manual chronograph in there, stainless steel, sapphire crystal, 40 mil diameter 13 mil thick so it's quite thick uh only 50 meters of water resistance leather strap uh look to look at 51 so it just stretch quite across uh there um but the, the amount of colors that they've got in this and this is going down from 106 and i said all the watches i'd could be under 100 down to 84 so what's that 90 dollars and i just thought these were really good and as i said they've got some real interesting different versions of the colors i mean whatever you want in here they seem to have on rubber straps on leather straps you've got pandas you've got blue and white cream and black some unusual I don't know, range of colors that would be pastels i suppose but yeah they've got some really good range in this i thought it was a really interesting sort of setup with the amount of colors and the straps great price if that's your style of watch, I think that would be a really good buy. Um, and they're using the Surgis exclusive Golden Swan Neck. There you go, as well. So uh, a slightly modified Seagull ST1901. Let me know what watches you'll be buying in the comments below. I've left links to everything in the description. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.